Good morning, students. This is Mr. Wood. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add your place mark to the Ancestry Project map in either Mrs. Torres or Mrs. Evans' class. It's actually a really, really easy process to do, but you have to be kind of careful while you're doing it. So the first thing when you get to this map, which you probably got to from one of their teacher web pages, the very first thing you need to do is you need to click the sign in button in the upper right corner. So I'm going to go ahead and click sign in. And when it asks you to sign in, you want to go ahead and sign in with your school Google account. So let me sign in with mine. And now I'm here. And the reason why you need to sign in is once you've signed in, you can use the red edit button. So there's going to be a little red edit button on the left side of the screen. So if I look here, it says, please add your placemark to the map by following the directions below. Find your family's location, add your placemark in the box right about where you and your family originated, add a photo using a Creative Commons search and properly cite it. So what I need to do is click on the red edit button. And when I click on the red edit button, you notice the directions are now editable. So I'm not going to touch the title and I'm not going to touch the directions. Instead, I'm going to follow what Mrs. Torres put in the directions. So one of the things she said to do is to first find my family's location, where they came from. Well, I know that my family came from a town called Cologne, Germany. So I'm going to type in Cologne, Germany at the top. And so this is Cologne, Germany. And the, this little box off to the left changed, but it's actually no big deal because I have the important boxes right up here at the top. So I'm going to click on the little place mark icon, which is the blue teardrop and then just move my mouse. I'm not dragging, I'm just moving my mouse roughly to where I want it. And you don't want to put it right over like where it says the letter A because then Google Maps gets confused. So you might just put it off to the side a little bit. So I'm going to click to drop it. And notice it brought this left side of the screen back up the way that it was before so I can read the directions. So I know that I have to put in the title, um, I think I have to put my name. So I'm going to put Joe W. Cologne, Germany. And then I don't really like the blue push pin, so I'm going to change to something else by clicking on it. So ooh, I'm going to go with the purple one. That's kind of cool. And then I can do paint plain text, rich text, or edit HTML. I'm going to go with the middle one, rich text, because when I click on that, it gives me all these cool tools that I can use. So this is where I'm going to add information about my family. So I might say my family came oops, to California in the 1860s from Cologne, Germany. They came here because there weren't many jobs in Germany at the time. So you can add whatever information that you're supposed to add. And then one thing that would be kind of cool is if you add a picture. You can't really upload your own picture though. You have to find a picture that's already on the internet. So what you'll want to do is in another tab, go to this website, search.creativecommons.org, because then you can find photos that you can legally use, because we can't just take any picture from the internet. We have to find ones that people said we could use. So on this page, it says, I want to find something that I can. And you don't have to worry about commercial purposes because you're not like selling anything here, but you want to find, put a little checkbox where it says, modify, adapt, or build upon. And you want to make sure that the box that says Google Images is highlighted blue. And then where it says search query, you might type in what you're looking for. So Cologne, Germany. And I'm going to hit search. And so it's showing me all the different pictures that I can use of Cologne, Germany. Um, that it says they're labeled for reuse with modification, which means I can put them in my, in my little place mark. I just have to say where it came from. So I'm going to go with this one, this like pretty photo of Cologne at night. And I'm going to click on the photo. And to get the picture, I have to view the image. And now it shows me the full address for the picture. So here's the address for the picture. All I have to do is highlight it once and then go edit, copy. And then click on the tab that has my map in it. And then I want my picture right in front of the M and my. So I'm going to click there and hit enter a couple of times just so I have some space. And then I'm going to click on the picture tool and paste in which is I can go edit, paste my web address there and hit OK. And the picture's there. And then I have to also cite it. So at the very bottom, I have to say where the photo came from. So if I go back to this tab, this page doesn't really tell me where it came from. But if I hit the back button and I click on the picture again, whoops, I clicked on the wrong one. So I click on the picture again 
and click Visit Page. This actually tells me where the picture, I can find the picture here. And if I click on the picture, then it tells me exactly all the information I need about it. So the photo was called Skyline of Cologne at Night. And does it tell me the author? Oh yeah, Andreas Tilly is his name. So I can say, I'm just going to copy this. So Skyline of Cologne at Night, edit, copy. So I'm going to say photo. So it was called Skyline of Cologne at Night by... And what was the person's name? Andreas Tilly. And then it's always good to link to the page where you found the information. So if someone else wants to see it, they can find it. So I'm going to just highlight all of the words blue and then go edit, copy. And then go back to the map. And I'm going to make all of this a hyperlink by just highlighting the words. And then you see this tool that looks like chain links? That's the hyperlink tool. And I'm going to click on that and go edit, paste, and it puts all the information in for me. And if I hit OK, and then I hit save and done, now I can test out my placemark. So I'm going to click on it, and there's my photo, there's all the information about my family, and then if I click on this, it takes you right to the page where my picture came from. So if you have any questions while you're doing your project, let me know. Have a good day.